All right, I'm here with Mac today. Yes, and when we get cuddles, we call that a big Mac attack. Yes, we do. And I get asked a lot, like, what's the first thing I teach a dog? Well, the first thing I actually teach a dog is that the way to get treats is to not try to get treats. You forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, get it. But <laughs> the very first of the kind of what I would call the normal cues that people expect to learn, I don't bother teaching a formal sit command. He, he actually pretty much knows he's got a lead butt. Hi, yay, good boy, come over here. Yay, yeah. Anytime he wants something, that butt drops. So I'm not really interested in teaching him to sit. I don't think there's a lot of thinking going on there. It's just hardwired in from the work we did when he was wee. Um, not that you're not still wee, honey. But of the first of the formal cues, I really prefer to teach a down. And I'm a bit of a snob. I like puppies to learn to do that thing from a standing position, just like that. Good boy. That's really good. I get that? Sure. There you go. And all I'm doing is I've got a piece of treat in my hand, kind of tuck it down the rabbit hole like this. And as he pushes into that, his elbows are going to fold. Yay, good boy. Break. That's right. One thing you might notice is I'm not actually telling him to do this behavior. And I know all the books say, you know, tell the puppy sit and raise the treat or tell the puppy down and lower the treat. I don't bother. Yes, that's good. I just get the behavior. When the behavior is accurate and fast and confident, and I'm confident the behavior is going to happen and the puppy's confident, good boy, and he knows what to do, then I will add a cue. You could, I guess, come on over here. That's right. Try that again. Ready? Yes. Good boy. There you go. And all I'm really looking for is for those elbows to hit the ground. Good boy. And you'll see me do things like this, where as he's eating, I'll take my hand away. That's because I want him a little bit less treat dependent right away. And then we're going to see if we can do the superstar moment on this one. Very quickly, I want to explain to the puppy that there isn't always a treat in this hand, but it's always worth following. So there's a treat in this hand. It's giant. Ready? Ready? Oh, let's get you up, buddy. Bop, 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 bop. There you go. What's in there? When he says, there's no treat in there. I'm like, yeah, treat's in this hand. Guess what? And he goes, and I'll just, and you can see him going, but, but, yes! See how we did that? He said, well, maybe, she, she said, maybe she's forgotten that I'm supposed to get a treat. Maybe if I just, yes, do the behavior, she'll remember. And I always like to do a kind of thing where I let the puppy think they're training me. It's just more fun that way. That's how my grandpa trained me how to play cards. There you go. He let me think I was winning. There you go. Try again. No, come on. One more. Oh, I'm pushing it. Was this? Yes. There you go. I think he's pretty clear that if he sticks his nose in this empty hand, that this one will magically come through with the paycheck. And that's all for today. Yeah, it's a good boy. That was very good.